hi guys um sorry my video is late today and also i've got another intro coming after this i just spoke a little bit about reassessing your um lists that um, i made a month ago um it's now a month later just to see did it work did it not work etc and also i mentioned that there was one thing that made my life easier i actually realized there's two things that i did to make my life easier so that's part of the video um then also what was it uh, i show you a little bit how my cupboard is looking um that was the other thing that I said was not uh, didn't work out so well. Um, doing a shelf or a cupboard a day did not work out that well for me. Um, um, but di what did work out was doing about one a week. So there was four weeks in January. So I show you the four shelves and one hanging space. And then also, what did I also did I show you? I showed you some items that is growing um, that I, you know, that I was eating and that is growing and. Um, just to encourage you to also, when you see something that is already starting to sprout or, or, or starting to grow, just pop it in water, put it on your windowsill, and you can also grow your own tree. All right, guys, I'm going to put it together. Hope it's okay. Catch you next week. Bye. Guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today, um, being the end of January, I'm kind of assessing my list that I made myself of what I was going to do, um, seeing how I kept up with it, and all I can say is, what was I thinking? Putting that I would pack one shelf a day. I, I, I could hardly stick with packing one shelf a week. So that is definitely going off, off my everyday task list. So I cannot pack a shelf right a day but I can do it once a week. So those are the things that a person now assesses after the end of the month. Um, I've pretty much kept up with my, my quiet time that I had there, my coconut pudding, my foot um, cream in the evening, and the music is kind of um, not that important that I keep it up on a daily basis. I have been doing enough. So the shelf thing will definitely be put up. Um, so, the other things on my list, pack clothes away, I could do that, tidy my kitchen, tidy the study, oops, no, I couldn't do it, water the plants, checking my banking and my books, it's more like every second day or third day, exercising, I do that four to five times a week, and the flossing and my drinking of vitamins, I think I did it twice this whole month, <laughs> so not so good. So I have to reevaluate and write out my new lists that I realistically can do. And um, my once a week thing, wash one window. I did attempt to wash one video, win, window. I did do ironing, vacuuming, yeah, once a week I did do that. Towels, bedding, go hiking. Does it count if I went hiking once in the whole month? <laughs> so that will be a monthly thing, not a weekly thing. Visit a friend. Does it count if I visit my, or if people visit me? Um, or if my family come over for the weekend? I suppose it does count. Because visit a friend. I think I also did just once in the month. <laughs> Deweed my garden. Does it count if I picked up, pulled out two or three weeds for the whole month? Play new instrument. Sadly, I failed there terribly. I did um, show the kids, my students, how to play um, panpipes. I've got this little small panpipes, so I don't know if that counts. There's only six notes on it, and it takes you about two minutes to master the skill of it. Tidy sunroom, not at all. Craft, create, upcycle. I think I've done a few of that. I just can't put my finger on what I actually did. Oops. Do something to make it easier. I did do that. I had a schedule, my music schedule, that I always handwritten, made lines with a ruler, and I've actually now asked my husband to help me, and we put it on Excel, and we've made it now so it's hard copies. So that is so much easier for me from um, for, uh, going forward to do it that way. So I did, but I didn't do that once a week. It was once a, once a month thing. Fix and sew an item. Right, I've got one day to do that because 
I didn't do any fixing and sewing. I must say that is like the worst thing for me is to fix and sew an item. And I know it's just piling up. I've, I think I put three more items on that pile this month because I sorted out my cupboard. I might be showing you sorting out my cupboards. So in any case, so it doesn't mean I failed because I didn't keep up with everything. I realistically realized that I couldn't do some of the things that I required of myself week uh, daily and even not weekly. I should have another list that says monthly. So I'm going to make my new lists and then um, try for February again because you know we never give up. We always try and just because the first month is done, didn't work out so well, I would give myself 80%. That's definitely a pass. So go ahead, assess your lists, remake them, make things out of daily into weekly, out of weekly into monthly, and see if it works better for you. Because eventually, you'll set into a nice routine. And it's always nice to have a nice routine for things to work out. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Bye. Just to show you the thing that made my life a lot easier, I used to hand write this all the way down and I used to make all the columns by my hand. That's me and my daughter. And now my husband printed this out for me. So this has helped me a lot. The other thing that made my life easier is around the corner. I used to store my dishwasher, let me just get my, in the garage because <laughs> I didn't use it for a while. I thought it was like wasting water and stuff. And I decided to take it out of the garage and put it back into the kitchen. So now I'm using my dishwasher again. And that's going to save me a lot of money and a lot of time and a lot of um, making my life easier. Those are the two things I did. Yeah, this is very messy. Up there I've done it a bit, but I had to redo it. So I'm going to be in this cupboard, right to the bottom stuff. As you can see, this side is my other cupboard. I have started, um, let me just put this out here, started um, tidying up here, so it looks a lot better. Tidied up this section, and I've tidied up that section. So that looks a lot better. I'm keeping up with my weekly, so this is my today. So this is before, let's see how it looks after. It just took a half an hour up there. I packed everything neat. I didn't color coordinate things yet, um, especially my tops and my jackets, but all my other skirts and things I just put in, um, in color order and then my dresses on the side and then in the bottom my work clothes and my extra blanket and my extra towel. So the cupboard looks a lot better. I only threw out three items, sorry, four items, and um, a bag and a sling that was in here. Okay, so I want to encourage you guys that if it looks like, and even now I've got space in between, before I could hardly move my things, now I've got a little bit of space. There's the after. I also want to show you three things that has just grown here. This is a sweet potato. My niece brought it here and it already started growing but just look how this thing has just turned into a monster. I'm not entirely sure how to plant this now but this is the sweet potato that has grown. And then one of the avos had a pup that started opening and just look how that has grown. And uh, look at the roots. Incredible. This is how you just prop it up. And then my husband was eating an apple, and inside the apple it was starting to grow. So now I just put it on wet tissue, and eventually it will make leaves and also grow into an apple tree. So those are my three little growing projects avo, apple, and a sweet potato. Next time you see something that is about to grow, just give it some water and some sunlight. That's all it needs. On your windowsill. Good enough.